I am Stephen Askins, and I've been standing as an independent candidate um, in Dublin South East. How's it going so far, Dylan? It's good. We're on the. I think we're into the, the third, or are we into the third or fourth round. We're into the third round, um, and I'm still, I'm still, I'm still in there. It looks like we might go out in this round now, um, but but I'm usually proud of the campaign that we've run um, to stay in this far beyond Sinn Féin and beyond sitting sitting councillor um, for a campaign that was only launched three and a half weeks ago with no base uh, I think that's a huge success and it, and it shows that well, what can we do in three years time uh, Dylan people at home people that have seen your campaign will actually say that uh, you Dylan people at home will actually think you know you look quite young you're just 23 and you've been compared to Jedward and you're probably more recognizable at this stage than them um, I want to ask you about Fianna Fáil and where Fianna Fáil are going. What will the Fianna Fáil politicians do, the ones that have lost their seats? Will they have to retrain? Will they have to start again? Will they retire? Will they garden? I don't know. They're not my friends. Um, they're not people that I would hang out with uh, very much, so I, I don't know what they do. I suspect many of them will go back to being teachers, uh, which many of them are. But um, I think it's, it's obviously difficult for anyone to lose their job, but they're joining the 400,000 people that have lost their job in the country as a result of their poor management of the country. So um, in, a, in a sense, they're in the same boat as everybody else, although everybody else doesn't have the same pensions as them. If you don't win your seat, what, where, if you don't win your seat, if you don't win your seat, what will you do? Um, well, I, I will start catching up on all the college work that I've been missing. Uh, I, I haven't been in college for, for over a month. Um, that's, the, that's the first thing to do. I'm going to go down to Dingle next, next week for two days uh, and go for a nice walk on Slay Head and do, not, do nothing else. Um, but, but beyond that, I... I mean, the, I said at the outset of this campaign that we need a change in political culture in this country. Uh, we haven't seen that in this election. We've seen a, a change in um, a role reversal of who the parties in, in government and in opposition are. But the change in culture hasn't happened, and that's, I think that the foundations have been laid for that, but it's, it's to come in, in years to come, I still, still I think.